Hi, we are Radar Render. Last week, we made a planet test on the top four render farms, including a render farm, Fox Render Farm, Rebus Farm, and Garage Farm. Today, we will test Arknot, which is a render plugin available for Maya, Houdini, Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, and Katana. We'd like to take a C4D project and Arknot plugin and render it on CPU. There are four render farms that will be tested today, including Fob's Render Farm, Rebus Farm, Garage Farm, and Turbo Render. These render farms are all based on the SAAS model. As I explained, SAAS means Software as a Service, where you just need to upload your files to a render farm and let it render for you. The process is so easy when you just need to prepare the file first, then send it to the FOB system, do a few things on the FOB dashboard. We select Maya 2020 and the black key Maya to upload, then submit it. After analyzing, there is one warning in terms of missing files from FAPS. If we still submit to render, you can see the result is so different from what we rendered on our local computer. We find out the reason, then we upload the file when keeping the local path. Here's the result we got on FAPS. As you can see, the image quality on both sides is the same. The left side was rendered on our local computer, and the other side was rendered on FAPS. The summary below shows where we tested on FAPS. Next, we will test on Reverse Farm, which is a trusted brand name on CPU rendering. Once uploading successfully, we submit to render. After waiting a couple of minutes, we check the rendered images. Since we try user, we will get a watermark output 
besides the renders like a dome-like background. Let's see the conclusion that we tested on Reaper's Farm. Garage Farm is the third render farm that will be tested. The UI and iOS of Garage Farm is not really friendly, so you may find it hard to learn how to use this service at first. We download Maya through Render Beamer, a plugin developed by Garage Farm to integrate Render Beamer on Maya. However, the error still shows you are not logging or setting file is missing. We tried to fix this and it still didn't work. At least, our Maya project was well on Fox, but we cannot render on Garage Farm due to these errors. To be rendered, the final one we will test today for CPU rendering. We test Maya 2020 with the Arknown plugin, the frame range from 0 to 10, then click to render. However, after rendering several minutes, there was an error with our job code Runtime Render Error. We send messages to Tuba team for help. They said that camera one does not exist. We rejected our Maya project and we were sure that there was a camera one. As you can see, this project still works well on other render farms. After waiting over 30 minutes to fix the error, Turbo finished rendering our Maya project. The output will contain watermarks. If we tap up, the watermark will be removed. When it comes to the image quality, the renders from Turbo Render are great. Look at the summary. It is clear that Fab's render farm ranks first when it comes to CPU rendering for Maya Agnond at the shortest time, cheapest cost, and good image quality. Render time on Reverse Farm is great, however, 
it does not meet our requirements regarding image quality. There were a few errors on Garage Farm and Tube Render. While we could not test on Garage Farm, the Tube Render had to render on their farm. It took time though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.